Okay, good day everyone. Uh, this is the le first lecture for our STS class. Okay, we will discuss the introduction to STS. Okay, so the objective of this week's topic will be to depict the definition of science, technology, and society, to understand the relationship of uh, science and technology to the society, and to appreciate the benefits of science and technology through society's transformation. Okay, so these are the questions that we will answer for this week. So first, we have to define what is science, technology, and society. Second, we will differentiate what is the difference between scientific law and two scientific theory, what are the two types of technology, and the three types of society based on their definition. And as your activity later, you will give at least two examples where science, technology, and society interacts. Okay? And you will explain their interaction. Okay. Now, what is the importance of STS? Now, STS was offered to all college students here in the Philippines, and this was conceptualized to develop a deep appreciation and critical understanding of the role of science technology in the development of the society. Okay. So, STS can also have a social, cultural, political, and economic context. Okay, so this is an interdisciplinary course. Before we go deeper on discussing the interaction of science, technology, and society, let's define first what is science, what is technology, and what is society. Okay. So, let's now define what is science. Science, the word science comes from the latter word shensha, meaning knowledge. So, we are talking here at the body of knowledge. Okay? So, this knowledge, the examples of this knowledge are atoms, gravity, plants, uh, galaxy, the characteristic or the behavior of the society is also a body of knowledge. Now, science is also defined as the study of nature and behavior of natural things and the knowledge that we obtain about them. So, aside from science as a body of knowledge, okay, we will also learn later that science is the system of knowledge. Now, here, we will have the four major branches of science. These are the most common okay, branches of science, the formal natural science, social science, and applied science. Formal science is a branch of science that are concerned with formal system, such as those that under the branch of logic, mathematics, computer science, and statistics. And unlike other branches that we will talk about later, formal science are not concerned with the validity of theories based on observation in the real world, but instead with the properties of formal system based on definition and rules so formal science focus more on numbers and giving meaning to these numbers okay there are certain rules for these numbers the second one the second major um, branch of science is the natural science this is divided into uh, major branches the physical science and the biological science so, in your elementary or high school days, you know that physical is the study of non-living things and biological science is the study of living things. So, under physical science, there are physics, chemistry, earth science, and so on. Under biological science, there are different branches like biology, botany, microbiology, and so on. So, there are many uh, other branches under biological and physical science. So, natural science tries to explain and predict the nature's phenomena based on experimental evidences. Now, social science talks about the behavior or study about the behavior of human being or human. Okay? So, under the, here, there are different branches anthropology arts education cognitive business studies economics geography and linguistics so so social science study more on the behavior and activity of human being and lastly the applied science applied science uh, is a branch of science that applies the existing scientific knowledge to the development of more practical application 
like engineering, so this is the application of formal and natural science, agronomy, under agronomy is agriculture, health science, under health science is medicine, nursing, and agriculture. So these are the four uh, major branches of science. So, as I said, aside from science as a body of knowledge, science is also a system of knowledge that is concerned with the physical world and its phenomena that entails unbiased observation and a systematic experimentation. Based on this definition, okay, so we can see that science can be a body of knowledge or a system of knowledge. There are so many concepts today that we learn through the result of experimentation. Now, science is, uh, it is a human attempt to understand the natural world without concern of practical uses of that knowledge. So, this is the major difference of science to technology, which we will talk about later. And in general, science involves a pursuit of knowledge covering general truths or the operations of fundamental laws. Before we can understand deeply on science, let's define first what is the difference between scientific law and a scientific theory. How can you determine that a certain concept in science is a law or a theory? Now, I will ask you to watch a video clip, a five minute video clip explaining what's the difference between a scientific law and a theory by Matt and Nicole. I will put the link below of this video. So after you watch the video, please return here to this video clip. Then we will proceed now to our topic. 